Hey kids, it's Mrs. Compton and Chip, and he's brought his yawn. Of course he did. Why not? Ugh, you stinker. All right, you guys, today we're going to do a number talk, and we're going to start with 20, and we're going to figure out 20 minus what equals not a yawn. Two. Okay, so remember, we're supposed to hit pause so that we have think time. So everybody hit pause. All right. Are you ready? On the count of three. Everybody tell me nice and loud if you can. One, two, three. Tell me. Did you say 18? I think you did. And I think I know how you did it. Let me see if I can guess. Okay. So I'm going to guess that you said you knew... 2 plus 8 makes 10. And then I'm going to guess that you said you were 10 away. So 10 plus 10 makes 20. And that's the number we needed to get to. So you probably said we had to add 18. Or maybe you hopped back from 20. Seriously? from 20 to 2. You may have done that. I don't know. Maybe you did. 20 minus 10 is 10. And 10 minus 8 is 2. And the answer is in the hops. We had to take off 18. Okay, here's the next one for you. Here we go. 30 minus what makes 17? Ooh, everybody hit pause. Do your think time. No yawning, Chip. He was thinking about it. Okay, everybody hit pause. Okay, on the count of three. Here we go. Ready. One, two, three. Tell me. Tell Chip. Woo. Did you say 13? Yeah? Okay. So I think you may have said 13, and I think you used friends of 10. I think you used the idea that 7 plus 3 makes 10, right? Did I get it? Or did you do something else? Maybe you did. So maybe you knew you had 17. And 17 plus 3 would make 20 because you knew 7 plus 3 makes 10. And you had another 10 right there. And then 20 plus another 10 is 30. So we had to add on 13, which means 30 minus 13 equals 17. Now, I don't know if you have a different strategy, do you? Maybe you thought about the blocks. Maybe you thought about how they might look if you drew them out in your mind. I don't know. you got to tell me. Chip, do you want to hear in the comments? Would you like to see people write to you? Okay. He said he wants people to write to him. He's fully awake this time. No yawning, right? Okay. So, are you ready to hear the story? We are going to be saying hello to Mrs. Tynan's class at Penny Camp. Hi, Mrs. Tynan's class. And... I love saying hi because it's so fun to hear your comments. And some people even send me pictures when they're in the story. I love it. Send me pictures if you want to. Okay, so here we go. This story is about pennies. All right, and we are going to say hello to Mateo and Asher. Hi, Mateo and Asher. I miss you guys. I wish I could see your faces. But... We will see each other again next year, maybe. Who knows? All right, so here we go. Mateo had hmm, pennies. Then he gave some to Asher. Okay, so Mateo had some pennies. Then he gave some to Asher. Now Mateo has hmm, pennies left. How many pennies did Mateo give to Asher? All right, so can you think about that in your minds? Mateo had some pennies. Then, ooh, there are my pennies. See? Do you see them? Check them out. There they are. I probably really, ooh. 
I really have some money, honey. We're out here. Some pennies. Oh, yeah. All right, so Mateo had some pennies. Then he gave some to Asher. Now Mateo only has some pennies left. All right, let's check out our Just Right number sets. Here we go. Maybe you're going to choose 20 and 12. Or maybe you're going to choose 50 and 22. Or maybe you're going to choose 120 and 62. Whichever one you choose, make sure it's your Just Right number set. Okay, Chip, should we put in some numbers? Let's try putting in some numbers. Mateo had 20 pennies. You with me? Now I have to talk to him about falling asleep in math class. You guys. <sighs> Mateo had 20 pennies. Then he gave some to Asher. Now Mateo has 12 pennies left. How many pennies did Mateo give to Asher? All right, kids. Did you make the picture in your head? Did you stay awake the whole time? Did you do any yawning? Chip, every time? I don't get it. You guys, he's crazy. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.